they have and there's a certain irony at the weekend where they make their major announcement for plans for 09 and AGR were not at that press conference and now they may come through and get their first victory of the season but during that press conference Eric Bergman from HPD did state we are still in negotiation for a second car in P2 so it doesn't mean that we will not see an AGR entry on the grid next season. All right, folks, there you see it at the top 30 seconds remaining. So it all comes down to how close Montaigne is when he gets to the stripe, whether we get one lap to go or not. That was so critical last weekend. Uh, Lucas Lea really went on a charge at the end of that race, meaning that everyone had to do an additional lap, meaning that a lot of cars ran out of fuel. And I think he's going to cross the stripe just shy of that mark. One to go. There it is. One more lap. One more lap. Big day for this young man's career. Uh, Strong Honda connections over in Japan, drafted in, and he's been very aggressive and done a tremendous job really getting to grips with this race car and the series. You don't know the competitors, you don't know their traits, and when you're running with four different classes out there, that is a big deficit to have. And what an adaption he has made. I mean, he got in and was quick from the get-go and has understood the, uh, it certainly seems the nuances of multi-class racing has picked up on it and has been very quick. And in terms of raw speed, when you want to look at some of these data, I don't know you can find anybody better than Montagny. No, he is, <laughs> he is superb. And of course, he's good on the streets. He was in the champ car finale, was drafted in with Forsyth Racing at Long Beach this year, finished second on the road on his champ car debut in the final champ car race ever. Here we see him looking for his first victory in this series. Flashing his lights, that is the GT2 race leader, and you know he's going to let him go through, so he doesn't have to finish one more lap, get this one over with, and get the win as well for Hensler. So, Montaigne, out of 12, up through 13, 14, and the run to the finish line, and Dreddy Green Racing, the XM Satellite Acura, and the Everquick front, Montaigne is going to bring it home, a great win at the Detroit Sports Car Challenge at Belle Isle. Great job, great job, man, great job. That is a big weight off the shoulders of that team, finally bringing it home. Great job today, guys, you deserve this one. Without doubt, have been very fast all season long and finally put it together. Since Montaigne showed up, that car has had tremendous pace. The 45 did get the win in the GT2 category as it came through, and there is the number one of Marcel Fessler. I think another great His story. You see victory. him shaking the fist. Yeah. Only second time in an Audi R10, yeah. and coming to a street course like this, pretty remarkable for Marcel Fessler since he's come over, and there is Montaigne. Very happy, deservedly so. We'll visit with him when we come back.